terminating and non terminating irreversibles so let us see this two terminology and what is the difference between them so uh, sometimes in the division a uh, dividend is exactly divisible and no remainder is left of a certain number of steps that means if you get the remainder is zero so those examples come under terminating but when you come to this terminating decimals you can just see uh, take one example 31.76 divided by 4 so after doing certain steps we should get the remainder is zero now those examples is a terminating decimal right now this is a 31.76 let's check with divide by 4 here is 4 table 31 7 times 28 subtract 3 when you take after the decimal you need to keep the point okay previous topic we see we discussed that and same uh, 4 table 9 so 36 1 again 6 is down 6 4 4 is 16 after certain steps now completely we got the remainder is 0 so there is uh, no remainder is left after certain number of steps so such answers in the quotient are called terminating decimals so this is the quotient right so 7.94 so this is the terminating decimal so 31.76 divided by 4 we got this and that means such answers in the quotient we got 7.94 right this is called the terminating decimal now same opposite for non-terminating when you come to this in certain cases while dividing the remainder does not finish so no matter how long the division is continued so it does not finish let us take one example for this uh, non-terminating 13.78 take divide by 7 okay let us uh, do division and check now here is 13.78 divided by 7 7 table 7 times 1 is 7 subtract this is um, 13 minus 7 6 take the digit after the point keep the point okay 67 that means uh, 7 times 9 63 uh, subtraction is 4 next to 8 so here is 7 6 uh, 42 remainder is 6 there is no more number to take down just you can keep 1 0 60 again check this 7 into 8 ok 56 because 7 into 9 is more than 60 subtraction is 4 again 0 right 7 5 is so 35 subtraction I got again 5 and so on if you take 50 again 7 7 is 49 5 0 7 into 7 49 we got again 1 we get again 1 0 so that means it's so on it's continuing in fact that is the non terminating decimal is shown by writing the digits of the quotient till the division is carried out so 1.96 so it's continuing this so we should not there is no remainder is zero we did even if you continue more for example you keep one more zero so seven times one is seven we get three so it will be continuing so these type examples come under non-terminating decimals after doing certain steps we got the zero but it's not zero so these examples come under non terminating same way even in non-terminating we have one more type recurring or repeating decimals we will see now continuation of non-terminating what is the recurring or repeating decimals 